A sea of orange poured into the Blue Cross Arena Saturday night to watch Rochester's only Division I college team take to the ice. It's a scene YNN's Leah George and photojournalist Matt Mann tell us RIT is working hard to replicate on its own campus. I'm really excited. They came from around the country. This is the greatest thing that's happened to RIT in years. Having RIT Division I hockey we're making a name for ourselves. We're doing great things. We got free t-shirts over here. More than 10,000 RIT alum, students, and hockey fans Go RIT! packed the Blue Cross Arena to watch the Tigers take on the Saints. Well, of course, it's fantastic. It's the second year in a row we've sold this game out, and frankly, this one we sold out even earlier. It's a scene RIT's president hopes to bring to one Lau Memorial Drive. RIT's a year into its power play fundraising campaign to build a state-of-the-art ice arena that would seat twice as many fans as its current Ritter Arena. Right now, all of our games are sellouts at Ritter, and we have many people won't even come in from the community because when they get there, the games are sold out. Uh, we don't want that, and we want to make sure the community feels proud of this team and gets a chance to see them play. You can't have a good team without a good facility. Great for Rochester, great for the city, great for RIT, and great for hockey fans of all ages. President Dessler says so far RIT has raised $3 million of its $15 million goal. Frankly, we have some things in the works that uh, we're hopeful we can announce in the next month or so. Dessler and trustees are guardedly optimistic that ground for the Tigers' new ice arena could be broken in fall. It's going to be huge. It's going to put RIT much more on the national stage than it has been. Leah George. YNN.